but with that, that was fun. That was that was a good week. We've got this. We got this. Jimmy, before we jump into the next thing, I did want to address the one thing we talked about last week. Yeah. We made mention of all the chaos that was going on down in Duval County uh, with your boy, uh, uh, the urban legend, Meyer. Mm -hmm. And I can't believe it. They did it, Jimmy. (laughs) They fired Urban Meyer. Mm -hmm. Jimmy, they fired Urban Meyer. Yep, fired Meyer. They fired. Urban fired. Yeah. They they fired the guy. Mm-hmm. I'm only surprised by it because I mean I know it's the NFL. They'll they'll fire people. They got a billionaire owner who has money. He just doesn't like to spend it because all of them are frugal. Um, so, but they found a way to fire him with cause, so they don't have to pay him now. Mm-hmm. So all that money that he thought in that seven year contract, that sixty something million he was gonna get, gone because of at cause. So the storyline behind everything was is that the kicker. Former kicker was Josh Lambeau. Mm-hmm. Um, put out a uh, he talked to somebody at the I think the Tampa Tribune or something like that. Uh, I forgot it, so just forgive me. I, I I've slept like ten times since. Uh, um, but talked about how Urban Meyer was kicked him. He <laughs> put his foot on him like he's a dog, and he questioned him about it. And he basically said, "I'll do what I effing want to." Mm. To you, Mister Kicker. And then everything else about all the turmoil that's going on inside of there, him calling his um, his coaching staff losers and said that he had better coaches at Bowling Green, mm-hmm. even though he hired all of them. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's all fell apart. So now Urban Meyer is now jobless. I am surprised that he actually fired him before the season was up. I figured he would just make him suffer. But I guess once that article hit, the um, the that was the straw that broke the camels back. Mm-hmm. Jimmy, what did you think about this firing? Uh, the other people want to know what we think about it. I'm glad that it happened. Um, everything that we had laid out last week made it seem like the only logical decision was to fire Urban Meyer. Fire yeah, Meyer, I think, can, is the name of the episode. You can look at that. Yeah. Check it out. Um, so it, it was definitely the right move. I mean, just the. I had to not only have I questioned his morality, but I've questioned his his thought process. And I'm not the moral police, but I mean, to treat people like absolute shit the way that he did. Yeah. Which obviously he was getting away with at Ohio State and everywhere else. He had been successful. Florida. Yeah. Does not work in the NFL. But he shouldn't have been doing that anyway, because I know there's a way to motivate and get after players, especially when they screw up. But to do and say a lot of the things that he did just made me question not only his morality, but just how his decision-making processes work Mm -hmm. in order to, at the conclusion of which, make him think, you know what I should do? I should kick my kicker. I'm sure everyone will appreciate the irony of me kicking the kicker. kicker. Yeah. Yeah, metaphorically and and physically. Yeah, and and talking bad about him. Your kicker, make your Mm -hmm. effing kicks. Like, (laughs) it's it's ridiculous. So, so it it gave me two things out of this before we move on. One... They need to put together a 30 for 30 for those my, those Florida teams that he had mm-hmm. with Aaron Hernandez and Percy Harvin. For one, I want to see hear about Percy Harvin choking out and beating up a coordinator in practice. And, and Urban Meyer's kind of like, <laughs> man, you know, it just happens, you know. That's just what it is. Like, I, I, I want to see that. And then I want to see, like, his reaction to when Aaron Hernandez or Percy Harvin does something that they shouldn't have done. Like, how does he approach that? <laughs> because I assume one of those guys would probably beat the dog out of him yes. in a heartbeat. And it doesn't seem like he does this to everybody, which in the art one of the articles talking about him, they talk about how he had like a circle of trust at his schools mm-hmm. and certain players would get away with doing so much more. Like for example, supposedly Percy Harvin got pissed off because of all the running they was doing. And he said, this stops now. And one of the players that was quoted saying that said that the next day they played basketball for conditioning <laughs> instead of actually exercising. <laughs> so that tells me that he was letting his players undermine everything. And that is a concern in my mind if a guy like that is willing to let his players mm-hmm. take over that way. Now, you know, we hope that between his last two coaching hires, and I don't know if they were different circumstances, that Shot Khan has learned from this. I mean, he's no. still – no, let's let's hope. That's why we're hoping. No, we're optimistic that he's learned and that the process that he uses f- to select his next coach and who is the coach that ends up being selected, which <clears throat> you know he may not get his first, second, or third choice because 
honestly, outside of Trevor Lawrence, with all the chaos that's gone gone on here, and they still have some pretty good players on that roster. They do. James Robinson's actually a good running back. There are probably going to be better jobs that open up after Black Monday, after the end of the regular season, that will probably attract those top two or three candidates. But either way, I hope he's learned from this. I hope they get the right coach in there. I have my my own ideas as far as who I want that coach to be. It's probably something we'll touch on in a later show as far as the top candidates. The top best fits for that Jacksonville job. But hopefully he's learned from this. We'll know by his hire because we all knew that when he hired Meyer, there was something really wrong with that. Yeah. We kind of all had an inkling or a feeling of how this train was going to end. So that's what, that's what ended up happening. So hopefully we don't have that happen again and he makes a better choice. Yeah, we'll see. Shot Khan, good luck, man. Good for you.